Okay, now conceptually it's pretty straightforward, right? Like you assign a cost to the job, fine. But the big issue here with job costing, and you'll see that this actually is an issue with most types of costing methods, is what do you do with overhead? We learned in the first, um, well, I guess the second chapter when we first started talking about costs, that some costs are traceable, meaning you can draw a line that directly links them to a product. What were the two traceable costs? Direct materials and direct labor, right? A piece of wood, I can trace it directly to the job in which it was used. Same with labor. But overhead is, is not a traceable cost, right? It's not a direct cost. It's an allocated cost. And so that's one issue. Second issue is that there are so many different components to overhead that you don't really have a unit, right? Like materials have units. It could be pounds. It could be kilograms. It could be meters. It could be liters. It could be whatever, right? Labor has hours, which is also a, a unit of measure. But overhead does not. Overhead has a million different things. So what do we do? Well, in job costing, we use what's called, well, we, we, we find applied manufacturing overhead. Applied manufacturing overhead is basically your, the amount of overhead that you are going to allocate to a job. It's not the same thing as a direct cost, right? It's not the exact or the actual cost. It is just the cost that you're applying. We do this for many reasons. One, again, overhead is not traceable. So it's not like you can see how much electricity is going into this product or into this job. You can't see how much of your insurance or how much of your rent is going into this product. It's not traceable. So we need to, we need to you know, estimate it. That's what we're doing here. Now, the way it's done is by first finding a predetermined overhead rate. This happens usually at the beginning of the period. Okay, you have the formula for it right here. You're going to want to memorize this. Okay, think about this. On January 1st, I'll use January. I'll use a whole year as my example. January 1st, the way it works is your manager decides or estimates how much overhead they think they're going to use, right? So they say, mm, you know what, this year we think, we estimate that we're going to spend a million dollars in overhead. We don't know for sure what we're going to end up spending, but that's what we think. And then they pick and a cost driver. So a cost driver is a unit that we use to assign overhead. Remember what I said that overhead doesn't have a unit? Well, you, you're going to give it one. You don't have to do it. The, the question will give you one. But the idea is that the manager will pick a unit, typically direct labor hours or direct labor costs. Those are the two most common. And say, okay, we're going to estimate our overhead based on this unit. So for example, based on how many labor hours we're using on a job, we're going to estimate our manufacturing overhead. So what you end up having is an overhead rate per labor hour, for example, $100. So we estimate that for every labor hour that is being used on a job, we're spending $100 of overhead. That's called a predetermined overhead rate. I'm gonna show you guys how to calculate that in a second. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, right? That's kind of the whole system. You find your predetermined overhead rate and then you use it, right? So if you want to find your applied MOH, you take that predetermined overhead rate and you multiply by the actual use of the cost driver. Now, this is a lot of words being thrown, thrown at you. And you'll see once I show you an example, it's actually very, very, very simple. Okay, I promise. So look, let's do that right now. So we'll start, we'll do this question kind of right here on, on Word. Um, and then when we do the long problem at the end, we're going to do that one on Excel, just to get a, a bit of both. If you are doing this by hand, this stuff is kind of short. So Red Hawk Company has two manufacturing departments, assembly and fabrication. The company considers all of its manufacturing overhead to be fixed, okay? The first set of data shown below is based on estimates that were made at the beginning of the year. Okay, estimated data here. The second set relates to one particular job, completed job A200. Got it. So... If Red Hawk uses a predetermined overhead rate with direct labor hours as its allocation base, there you go. This is the cost driver, okay? They're always going to tell you what their cost driver is, what they're, here we're calling it an allocation base, but essentially we're telling you what your overhead is based on. In this case, it's based on labor hours. So the first thing you wanna find is your predetermined overhead rate, which is using this formula right here. So to find predetermined overhead rate, we take the estimated manufacturing overhead. So if you look at the estimated data, and it's super important that you're always using estimated, by the way. Um, 
and you're not separating it by department. You're taking your total, right? When we get to activity-based costing, we'll separate it by department. For now, you're taking your total estimated overhead of 700,000 and you're gonna divide it by the expected use of the cost driver, again, expected. So since they're saying to use direct labor hours as your base, you need to find your expected labor hours, which would be right here, 40,000. So you're doing 700,000 divided by 40,000, which is $17.50 per DL hour, okay? This is what I mean, using estimates we get an overhead rate per labor hour. So when it's asking you how much overhead is assigned or applied to job A200, job A200, to find your applied MOH, you wanna use this formula here. So your predetermined overhead rate is 1750 times the actual use of the driver. So when you're actually applying it, you wanna go and say, okay, well, how many labor hours were used? Job A200 used 12 labor hours. So we're gonna multiply this by 12. So $210. You see, this is how overhead is, uh, is estimated or is, is applied using a job costing system. You find